Good morning guys, you're just joining me for breakfast. We're staying at our mum's for a few days while we finish off the last few things on the van. I'm just enjoying a nice cup of tea before we head up and do some bits and pieces. I've been looking back through the archives of the previous videos and through some of the comments and I'm going to do a question and answers video soon. So what I'd like you to do, if you've got a question that you'd like to ask me, please leave a comment at the bottom of this video and then what I'll do is I'll put together a Q&A video and try and answer as many of your questions as I can. While I was going back through those videos, I did pick up a few questions. Some people wanted to know how I'd done certain things in the van. One of those was the auto carpet and the trim around the windows. I've gone back through the video archives. I've actually got some footage that I've put together and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video today. I'm just preparing to wrap these door trims. I've taken the door rubber off. This door trim was a little bit scuffed up, so what we've done is I've sprayed it with a little bit of primer just to give it a bit more protection. And then what we're doing now is putting a bit of spray adhesive. Then I'm gonna run a little bit of Reflectix over it just to give it a tiny little bit of a barrier before I wrap it all in gray auto carpet. We'll spray both surfaces with this trim fix adhesive Spray it on the silver foil as well. I'll do this outside. And I'll just come down this line with a knife and trim off the excess because I don't want too much going in to the door rubber. And then what we'll do now is we'll do the same process, another layer of adhesive and then we'll put the grey auto carpet over the top of that. So we've got the door jam covered in Reflectix. I've stuck it down with adhesive and then I've foil taped any joints. I've tried to make it as smooth as possible. The key is the neater you can get this finish and the smoother you can get this underlying layer, then the smoother and neater your carpet will look once you come to put it on over the top. I've just sprayed this layer now with another layer of adhesive and then we'll just put the uh, carpet on. As you can see, I've just done this bit on the top and then what I've done is I've stretched it around all of these profiles and then what we'll do is we'll cut this within about half an inch of this door frame and then I'll wrap that right the way around and then when the door rubber goes back on that'll hold that nice and securely and that'll just tidy up that edge. All of this conduit gets put back into that plastic moulding that's at the top so we've wrapped this right the way underneath to give us a nice clean finish and then we'll put the plastic moulding on the top just to hide all of these cables and we've run that all the way along right the way to the far end and we've moulded it around this pillar here and again moulded it all the way around the edge of the door here we'll trim this off wrap it around the door trim and push the rubber back on and then the bulkhead will come in here and the bulkhead will finish around this carpet here so that'll give us a nice seamless finish.
go, new door trim is on, new door rubbers on, that's that centre post wrapped with Reflectix and the grey auto carpet, nicely moulded around all the corners, that gives that a really good finish on that edge, just wrapping that round that corner and then putting the door rubber back on really finishes that off nice and neatly there's no way that's going to come apart and then all we've done at the top here now is we've replaced the original trunking I've run the auto carpet underneath the trunking and then the headliner will run into that and as you can see we've carpeted down this side as well there will be the bulkhead obviously will cover right the way over that hole there and then the carpet continues all the way down right to the bottom there so i've decided to take this rear trim off around the bottom of the doors the back there's just some little plastic clips that hold this on just as well i did look at the state of it under there so we're going to get all this cleaned out some of these little rust patches i'm going to clean up and paint with hammerite before we put this trim back on. I've given it a coat of primer first. That's tidied it up nicely. And then what we're going to do now is come back with a hammerite just to give it a bit of a top coat. You're not going to see any of this but it will really help protect it from any further rust. So I've just put another coat of hammerite on. I foil taped the edge of the floor just to make sure that's fully sealed and now we're just going to put the black trim back on. We've washed down the black trim and I've also just given that a spray with a satin black and then that just finishes that off rather nicely I know it's a little bit scratched up still but at least it looks a lot tidier than what it did and then all we'll do is we'll get a bit of stair nosing with a rubber safety trim and we'll just trim over the edge of that plywood once we've got the vinyl floor laid We want to put some grey auto carpet on this window reveal so in preparation for that what we've done is we've stuck Reflectix over all the insulation we've foil taped all the gaps and all the seams we've taken the window trim off of the window and then what we've done is we've just masked up the window because we don't want any overspray of adhesive to get on the glass and just make the cleaning up process a lot easier so we've just masked up the whole of that window now we're going to spray some adhesive and then cut a piece of carpet and I'm going to do this window in one piece first thing you're going to do is spray both surfaces with this trim fix adhesive this is by far the best stuff to use inside your van this is good for temperatures up to 120 degrees centigrade so even in the heat of summer this stuff's not going to come apart First thing you can see me doing here is we're just tacking the edge of this piece of carpet around the outside of the frame. I haven't made it too tight so I've got a little bit to play with and now I'm just smoothing out the edges, stretching the carpet as I go into all of these corners, just gradually teasing it making sure there's no creases and then just relieving those corners with a few slits with the scissors just to give me a little bit of extra room to play with. I'm cutting the excess off near the cab 
and just spending a bit of time to tuck that into that reveal and now I'm just trimming off a little bit more around the window I've left myself about a centimetre there which I can just tuck around that metal edge and now the first bit of the trim's going back on again just trimming off any excess you can't put too much around these metal trims because you can't get the rubber back on so I'm just cutting off the excess and then just teasing that round those metal corners I came up against a little bit of a snag there there was some silicon on the window which was preventing the rubber from going back on with the carpet tucked in there as well so I just took a little nick out of the back of the rubber and eventually that went back in we just need to spend a bit of time just finessing it until you're happy bit of a tidy up and there we're all good So there we go guys, hope you found that to be of interest to you. Sorry if it's a little bit out of sequence with the rest of the build videos, I'm just trying to answer a few questions. As a point, if you have got a question for me, don't forget the Q&A video that I'm putting together. Leave me a comment below if you've got a particular part of the build that you want me to answer. I'll try and put as many as I can into the video, and those that I can't, I'll answer you in the comments below. Thanks for everybody who's made a comment on my previous video. It's been really great to read everything that you guys are saying. And don't forget, if you think my videos will be helpful to others, please do share the content on social media. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.